Welcome everyone back to RimWorld! So in between episodes I was moving stuff around as you can see I actually finished the last of the bedrooms and I've moved some statues over. I've also planned out a little bit more these are just kind of granite walls around here just to make sure that you know when we are fighting people with weapons in here that they don't destroy our walls. But the reason why I came back a bit early is because we just had a forceful quest to activate a mech cluster with a smoke spewer. Let's see where it is generating a planet. Hopefully, okay, of course. So it's right about there. Um, does it tell me how many people are there? It doesn't. All right, who do we want to send there? Except it'll take around 0.7 days. Um, oh, that's another thing that I needed to mention. So, I completely forgot, but we can't actually use this Tesla gun yet, according to the game rules. I just wanted to display this, but right now, because we are in the industrial era, slash age, we can only use up to spacer attack, okay? And what that means is that we can use stuff that I believe is, yeah, we can use stuff that is pink. Ooh, yeah, we can use stuff that is pink, but we can't use stuff that is like blue like this as you can see right there or, Yeah, we can so we can use like stuff like pullers and pushers once you know We can use stuff like that. So this is it goes spacer uh, Ultra tech and then like pink is arco tech slash glitter tech so that's the highest level of stuff and if we search up ultra tech as you can see, Ultra Tech laser weapons. We can't quite use this yet, but once we hit the Spacer Age, we will be able to use that. And as for the caravan, I think I'm gonna send Tiger and Clyde to go deal with that. I'm actually sending Tiger with a little bit of a uh, special item. And for travel supplies, 12 simple meals, 4 herbal medicine, that should be fine. Let's send them off and confirm. But yeah, you guys will see what I have in plan once we get there. Alright, we have arrived at the smoke spewer. So, what are we looking at here? It looks, ooh, there's one centipede. So, this is the hard part of combat extended. Ooh, what does this guy have? Ugh, that's a nasty looking weapon. Blaster turret gun? Incendiary cannon turret? Whoa, okay. Um, kind of interesting. So, centipedes are definitely the most dangerous of the combat extended enemies. If we go to their health gear, sorry, they have a sharp protection of 20 millimeter RHA pretty much everywhere. So, I, I brought a contingency plan. Um, last episode, we got three rocket launchers, and I figure we might as well use them. Ha ha ha! Okay. So, I'm going to bring him up. Oh, wait. It's on a proximity activator? <gasps> That's wonderful. Okay. Never mind. We're, we're not going to rocket launcher the mechanoids. We're just going to flank around in here and avoid the proximity activator. Because we can do that. Watch this. Woo. Oh, there's an unstable power cell right there, actually. So, that's kind of dangerous. And then we can just melee this. Never mind. We don't need to rocket launcher a bunch of mechanoids. Alright, with that, uh, you know, mechanoid cluster dealt with, I'm just gonna have our people run off the map, and, uh, we won't ever worry about them again. So, back at the base, I have decided that, well, for one, we're gonna need to be able to cool all of our stuff, so I th I'm gonna use a mod that I don't usually use, and it is centralized climate control. So what this mod is, it's... It's kind of like a Dub's Bad Hygiene. So unlike the normal cooling systems, you're going to set up like an entire network. So you're going to have like intake fans, you're going to have vents, you're going to have air thermal heaters. There's more that you can build, like there's a 4x4 intake fan if you really want to. But I'm just going to set it right out here. I'm just going to put two intake fans and then I connect it somehow. I'm actually not all that familiar with it. So I'm pretty sure after that, you connect it. So I think red is for hot and blue is for cold. So we're going to want cold for now. And then we can just hook it up through our walls. And then 
we can bring it like this over to like our fridge and then we can hook like I think it's an air vent that we put here yeah there we go and that air vent should just auto cool our fridge now by pulling air in from here and I think we need a cooler I'm actually not oh here it is okay we need one of these a surround air vent and this acts as an exhaust because you need an exhaust because you have intake it cools it it shoots cold air into here and then the uh, exhaust spits out hot air all right guys a bit of an update I have started moving stuff inside of the base and deconstructing other things as you can see the stockpile is almost fully empty we just have a few scyther corpses and a few steel shrooms and plasteel bulbs to move out of there after that I'm gonna finish off moving the rest of the kitchen over I've already moved over the stove if you look over here as you can see the stove is there and I've also built up more stockpile zones inside of the fridge so they should start hauling the rice over so that we can make meals here so that they don't have to run all the way up here to eat when they wake up but also I have built an electric smelter and I thought just for convenience sake we can smelt metal from steel shrooms and uh, <laughs> It is indeed not from Miss Grobots plus plus times 30. It is from, oh, oh, we actually need crafting skill? Uh, um, who, who is good at crafting? Um, Tiger has a five and she's the best person we have. Um, that's a problem. So we have a blacksmith inspiration. A blacksmith in one of your settlements contacts you. He explains that he's been struck with great inspiration and requests silver for supplies to create a weapon worthy of our empire. All right. So if you look to the left, we actually have almost 7,000 silver. I've just kind of been passively collecting taxes. So I think we're going to spend 2,000 silver to do this. This will surely turn to be an artifact of the ages. I will give all the funding you require 2,000 silver. All right. Let's see what we get. All right, so the event, the blacksmith event has just sent the goods. I don't know what it, well, you know, what's in here yet. Um, where is it? Okay, so we got 81 millimeter mortar shells, psychic warheads. Okay, that's, that's a bit odd. Um, what do psychic warheads do? Oh, we have a raid from the Furious Hive. Um, Low velocity shell designed to be fired from mortar. Madness uses psychic technology to induce a berserk rage. Okay, that's, so it's like a targeted uh, mental break berserk. That's kind of cool. So, oh no. <laughs> um, oh, this is not going to end well. What is your uh, armor looking like? Self show. Where, where's your armor? Does it not have armor? Does it have armor? Okay. So it's only got four millimeter RHA. I thought it was a lot tougher, but let's get our people to defensives and let someone like that should be fine. Give him his MP4 Hornet and the light SMG. And let's see how we can deal with this. It should be interesting. Go to second speed. I have been working on the base. As you can see, pretty much everything has moved over. I also grinded out like 22 clubs to get tiger. Oh, there's the Giga Locust. Wow, it just got slaughtered. Um, but what I was saying is that I grinded out clubs so that Tiger could hit crafting eight, and I've had her smelting steel from then on. So we're doing pretty well. Uh, so I thought I heard an explosion. Mega Scarabs, okay, here comes a Royal Mega Spider. What are you doing? Thankfully, the Mega Spiders are pretty weak. Okay, people are reloading. Slick, you might want to fire now. Unload, please. Oh, no. <laughs> um, okay, there's a mega spider coming. I am going to have Howie contest because he has power armor. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Uh, what, what limb did they cut off? Uh, I don't think they cut off any limb. That's good. Melee attack melee attack please Howie has the best survivability chance of anyone so if anyone's gonna survive it's him Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh. Back up, Marcus. Back up. Back up. Um, yeah, keep mailing the Megapede. Uh, oh, crap. Okay, that's the Megapedes dealt with. We need to take out this Mega Spider, though. Come on. Slick is bleeding on in seven hours. Thankfully, we won't friendly fire at this range. Is that... Okay, there's only... There's a Megapede and a Mega Spider left. Hunter lacks range weapon. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for lacking the ranged weapons. Come on. Okay, Megapede is dealt with. Melee attack the Mega Spider, please. Thankfully... Ooh, he's getting kind of beaten up here. They have really good melee armor penetration. All right. One... Oh, my God. There's so many... So we have more, we have one more Mega Spider and one more Mega P to deal with. Come on, come on. So close to dying. Okay, there we go. There's a Mega Scarab and there's one more Royal Mega Spider. And that should be it. Alright, thankfully we did crit that guy. Um, Marcus, you're going to stabilize Slick. And Howie, you should probably go to sleep. Alright guys, so quite a large amount of time has passed as you can probably see, but we have done quite a bit in that time as well. We have started working on the hygiene so that, you know, our people don't have to run all the way out here to the outhouse to go to the bathroom. I'm also working on the rec, uh, not rec room, uh, workroom slash laboratory so they can research and craft stuff here. I have tiger building components out right now. But, um, some infested ship trunks just fell, and there's quite a few insects. Eight mega spiders, twelve spellipedes, and I don't see any mega scarab. There's a mega scarab. How many mega scarabs? Three mega scarabs. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna get Clyde, equip him with his rifle. I'm gonna marshal everyone up, line them up here. Because I have done some work on the uh, kill box. As you can see, we now have, like, lines. So that that should slow them down. Um, give Borislav his light SMG. And then I'm going to send Clyde out to go and deal with these guys. Well, not deal with them, but uh, bait them in. Hopefully they don't destroy my wind turbines. That would really suck. Because we wouldn't have any power then. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna try and snipe one, and then we're gonna run. Oh, I think that got their attention. Um, all right, start running, Clyde. Start running. All right, where are they? Oh, <laughs> look at them. They're like ants. I mean, they literally are ants. Oh, crap. They're gonna do this. <sighs> okay, we're gonna have to go out there by ourselves and flush them out. All right, I think I got them coming into our kill box now. Ooh, Toby. Start running, Toby. Um, hold door open, hold door open. Toby, keep running. Toby, keep running, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. This spellipede is going to make it in, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. Close the door. Um, uh, shoot, shoot. Shoot back. Toby, duck. Okay, back up, back up. <laughs> oh no, um, crap. Push up, push up to there. Um, <laughs> keep running, Toby. Howie, I'm gonna, we're gonna use Howie as a meat shield again. All right, that's a mega spider dealt with because that that HMG is so powerful. Uh, keep running, Toby. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. It's a good idea to keep running, okay? What are they doing? These insects are so weird. Alright. Let's get everyone else and continue moving. Slick is down right now, but that's fine. Uh, he decided to go into a, a berserk, so I just let him bleed out. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to pull off a flank. As you can see, there's quite a few insects stuck in the kill box, but it looks like they're going to come over here. Yeah, they definitely are. So we're going to... Disconnected gen- Oh my god. Of course they're gonna destroy my wind turbines. Really? You you all suck. So much. And and they just shot- They just shot- uh, Slick. Wonderful. Thank you guys. Uh, please don't 
shoot, shoot slick again. <laughs> okay. Line up here. Ugh! Warg 1. Borislav, run. Run. <laughs> oh no. Borislav is down. He's probably going to die there. Um, unload. Oh yeah. All the firepower. Oh no. Unload, please. There we go. <laughs> They're all stacked on top of each other. I don't know why. Start running. Start running. Marcus. Oh! So we did manage to beat off the last of those bugs. As you guys probably saw in the last clip, um, Marcus Emerald did just get Trauma Savant, which means he gets plus 50% manipulation, but he can't talk or hear anyone. Which is an interesting condition. I, I think it's kind of cool. Um, how's the... Slick! Don't die! Um, uh, doctor. Tiger, go stabilize this man. So thankfully, uh, we did, in that conflict, kill all of the insects. We're getting tons of insects this episode as well. Um, I did destroy all of the chunks with Toby, but Boroslav now has an infection, so this should, uh, be interesting. Okay, we have already tended to him. It's 15 to 22 right now, so he should survive, but, you know, should is the key word there. So we have around 7,000 silver in the stockpile. I think I want to try and found a new settlement, but this is going to be a different settlement, okay? Oh, apparently there's a dock request and a breakup, okay. What I want to do, so we've, I, I don't think I want to build a military settlement anymore. Um, Espale is a level 6 settlement now, so it's got 6 military level, and all the other ones are level 3, so they have 3 military level. And if we go to Farborn, I'm actually tithing Farborn. So what that means is that instead of silver, so pretty much what would happen is that they would mine the resources up and they would sell them and then they would send me part of the silver. Okay? What actually happens is that they don't send, you know, they don't give me the silver. They just give me the resources, but I still have to pay the workers. So that's what's happening right there, but overall we still have a massive net profit of around 7,000 silver. So if we go to the settlements and faction colonies there we go create a new colony i want one with a good weapons production i know it sounds weird i don't think there's actually any special tire for this so i think one two three i'm gonna settle one right here so when that caravan arrives i'm actually gonna tithe weapons from it all right guys our first tactile of tithing has come in and let's check to see. So we got 2,000 silver from Hing, 4,000 from Ispale, and we got 623 gold from Farborn. All right, that's pretty decent. Um, where is our other shipment? Let's check the events. It should be in here. Okay, there's 0.6 more days until uh, Togetherness Township comes in and gives us their money. Not money, but weapons. As you can see, we are tithing. I, I did do this kind of in the background because, you know, it's, it's not that interesting. But they now have a weapons factory, which gives plus 0.5 base weapon production. They have this market that gives plus 15 tithe modifier. And the Rimazon, work, uh, Rim, Rimazon warehouse gives plus 20 in tithe modifier. The tax cycle from ta the <laughs> Togetherness Township, that's still a great name, came... And we got a steel war hammer, as you can see, a granite hammer, so that's like a building hammer, so extra build speed, and a R700 Hawk. Um, what's that looking like, actually? The 10 mm uh, RHA sharp penetration. That's actually pretty decent, but uh, I don't really want that right now. So that's some okay stuff. Hopefully we get something better on the next tax cycle, but you know, it wasn't horrible. So a little bit of time has passed since the last clip, and we had we actually had just beaten a uh, a dark jaguar raid. If we go to the history messages, uh, infections, blah blah blah. Okay, the dark jaguars. We just beat them a few days ago, um, and from that, how we got a new helmet. He now has a basic resistant energizing steam tech protectorate helmet. The base item is a protectorate helmet, not not all that stuff. But we also got a few new, new, you know, a bunch of clothes and such. Um, also, there was a service rifle from one of the guys we killed. 
Because it was a siege, but, like, we were just able to snipe them all because they weren't really paying all, much, all that much attention. Uh, where is that? There it is, this service rifle. If we go to information, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, Soviet bullets it fires. It's got 6mm RHA, so it's probably better than something like a machine pistol. Or a heavy SMG. So I think I'm going to give Borislav the uh, service rifle. We also just got our second taxes have arrived from our gun settlement. Let's see what they gave us. Alright, okay, so that's not bad. We got a P90. What is its bullet penetration? 5mm RHA with a 50 round clip. And we also got a carbine. I'm pretty sure carbines are pretty good. 5mm RHA as well. Um, maybe it's not so good. Um, wow. We also got, what are these? Oh, we got high explosive cannon shells too. That's kind of cool. But I think that will about wrap up, the, up this episode. Um, today was pretty productive. At the end of last episode, while we technically were moved into the mountain, like all of our people were living inside of it, we didn't have pr pretty much anything else inside the mountain. Now we have everything inside the mountain. For the most part, all of this is gone. All, pretty much, there's the battery room outside, and that's about it. We have bathrooms and such inside of the mountain now. We are completely self-sustaining. We are growing corn here. We're growing cotton. We're growing plasteel. We're growing steel here. And then eventually, in this potato patch, I want to grow devil strand, but that'll, that'll be a, for a future episode. We're also producing components and all of our stuff in here. We have our central storage completed we have our own cooking so overall a very successful episode but with that said if you guys did enjoy this video please like share subscribe comment any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated anyways have a great day and goodbye